All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is March 12th, Friday, and this is the Senate Health and Welfare Committee. Uh, this morning, uh, and it is crossover day, so we're going to try to get to some closure on uh, as as much as we can. And Jen Carvey is here this morning on S24 and 117. So um, I think I'd like to begin with S24, if we could, committee. I know that uh, some of you have expressed your concerns about the bill, and that's just fine. Uh, that, that's your prerogative. Uh, but I thought it would be helpful to um, have a vote on the bill and then be able to move it along uh, to the full Senate so that then we can uh, get it, theoretically, get it to economic development. So, um, so I'll just open it up for discussion at this point on S24. Senator Cummings. Yeah, I, I apologize. I missed some of it yesterday, but um, we we passed this. We passed a similar bill last year, and I voted for it. As I remember, it was not easy sledding on the floor of the Senate. And I'm getting the impression that this bill is more extensive or slightly different. And I just need to know, is it different? And, and what's been added and then you know, we talked about GMOs, that was labeling. This is banning. And I, I mean, we spent hours talking about tomato cans and- um, We're not labeling. No, we're not labeling, we're, not we're banning labeling. the sale. Wait, wait, so, which bill are we talking about? I'm sorry, I'm confused. That's 24. Yeah. S24 is tobacco. Banning flavored tobacco, tobacco products oh, and even okay. first I'm not thing on our agenda. I said where I am with tobacco. All right. Thanks, Ruth. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, was I was like, wait, tomatoes, is that part of is that a flavor? No. I don't know. <laughs> I bet it is with the but fish. Wait, wait, the flavor they, <laughs> they do have BPA lining their cans. It's, okay. it's definitely crossover week. <laughs> Jen, right last night. Are, so are you asking that question about um, flavors, Senator Cummings? No. Okay, I will, thank you. I will, but just a heads up, those, those are just I got it. what other states are doing. Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, yes, and, and, and you, on the S-20, you may have missed that testimony where there was a comparison uh, by Jen Duggan, I think it was. Okay, or, then or I can Marcy, find that. Marcy I'm, Gallagher, I'm one reading of them. the bill. Yeah. But let so, me, if it's Jim, Jen Duggan, but I can We're not find. on that bill right now. Right. So. I've already talked about the other one, so. Yes, you have. And, and Josh good. has expressed his opinion on the bill, so. His, so. Um, Senator Lyons, did yep. I, I told the committee out of respect for everyone that I would give a little bit of um, commentary as to why I was voting no on S24, if you'd like it or. Sure. Um, I have literally lost sleep over this bill, to be honest with you, thinking about um, what to do and which direction to go and, and having children of my own and being sensitive to temptations that youth might be um lured to um but i i come back to the fact that i think that before i was in the state senate um <clears throat> the uh the senate passed and the legislature passed um relaxed mm -hmm. rules around marijuana and um i probably would have been a no vote in that direction it probably would have guided me towards a no vote on this but i think it in the way i look at it is if if we're going to say and loosen the restrictions on one, then it's tough for me to say, we're gonna outlaw some of these other products. Uh, and I also, somebody in one of our testimonies said this quote that I wrote down, Pe people, especially adults have the right to make a bad decision. And I'm not a smoker or a tobacco user, but I think adults 
do have the right if they choose to and they want a flavored cigar or <clears throat> a chewing tobacco or a menthol cigarette i think they have the the right to do that unfortunately i also um heard from a couple of these smoke shops who indicated that um where youth are getting this product is online and largely from other countries and China is shipping it. And they didn't feel that anything that we passed here that was just gonna hurt the businesses rather than help the problem because kids will just continue to order it online. So for a number of reasons and the menthol portion, that's why I'm a, I'm a no vote on this. I am very sensitive to it. I hope no youth ever take up this product and use it. It's terrible stuff, but I think at the end of the day, that's where I stand as a no. Okay, thank you. Anyone else want to comment? Senator Hardy. Thank you, Senator Lyons. And um, Senator Terenzini, I, I definitely respect your um, opinion as, as I do, um, Senator Cummings. Obviously, this is a tough bill. It was a tough bill for us last year. And I was on the fence last year, um, but I was not on this committee. Um, so what, what really, changed my mind or convinced me that this was an important bill to vote for was all of the testimony we had um, and particularly the testimony about the racial injustices associated with um, menthol cigarettes and flavored flavored tobacco um, I I in in terms of uh, voting for cannabis um, and the legalization of cannabis, one of the strong arguments and one of the main reasons that I voted for that bill and was a co-sponsor of that bill is because legalizing it enables us to regulate it. And that is what we are doing here with tobacco and cigarettes is we are regulating it. Um, and one of the things we did in the cannabis bill was to um, prohibit flavors. Um, so I think this is very consistent with our actions on cannabis. Um, I also um, know that, and I'll, I'll let the chair speak to this, but that there are there's a sort of path for this bill that will mean that it has other, other eyes on it before it comes to the floor. And um, while I know that this won't be an easy vote for many of our colleagues, I think it's an important public health measure um, that we need to take in order to not only protect young people in Vermont, but to uh, um, ensure that our public health laws and regulations are racially equitable and that we are protecting all Vermonters from um, the harms of tobacco addiction. So um, I uh, know this has been a tough bill and I have been on the fence, but I am, I am supportive of this bill and will be voting for it. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator Hardy. Uh, Senator Hooker. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I'll be voting for this bill as well. I really feel that the marketing of these flavored products has been directed specifically to youth. And this is something that's unconscionable, I think, um, from the manufacturers. I remember the, uh, the discussions on uh, Joe Camel and how Joe Camel was more recognizable than Mickey Mouse at the time that it was uh, allowed. And I'm looking at the myriad of flavors that are um, offered to kids, really, uh, bubble gum, Skittles, you know, um, unicorn puke. I mean, these things I can't imagine are directed at adults. Uh, and the colorful packaging that's so close to candy packaging. This is stuff that I think is, is marketing to a specific segment of the population. Menthol, <laughs> menthol's been around for a long time. But again, the racial inequities and what we heard about the marketing towards um, black African-American communities was really compelling. So I'll be voting for this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think that you, uh, uh, Senator Cummings. Okay. I guess I have an opposite reaction to the racial inequity. The tobacco, and in, in I said the other day, 
I don't, I will ban anything from adults. I don't have, uh, from children. I don't have a problem and I voted for banning all the flavored vapes. I do have a problem with menthol because we have a lot of seriously addicted people. And I personally, let's face it, the tobacco industry has targeted everyone. Remember, you know, Virginia Slims and you've come a long way, baby. Um, I can get a premium selling old magazines because they have these elegant Chesterfield ads with the sophisticated woman. And for me, because racial equity is kind of what we're talking about these days, to say that we're doing this because Black people tend to smoke more cigarettes than white people. Maybe it's because their lifestyle is so tense. Maybe it's because of all the, um, you know, the things that they have to put up with being afraid of the police stopping you for having your tail light out. I'm not, to, to say it's because they're targeted in advertising implies that people of color can't make decisions about what's good for them, that they're more vulnerable. And I'm not comfortable with that. I think they can make decisions about what's good for them. I think that we should ban everything for children. I think we need to put a lot more money into cessation and prevention. But I don't, I think, especially now when people are living such stressful lives, to remove menthol is cool. Um, All right, thank you. Uh, Senator, we get it, thank you. Um, Josh, one more comment, and then I, I'd like to say something. Yeah, thank you, Senator Lyons. I, I would also um, say that if menthol, it sounds like we have the votes for the bill, but if menthol was stripped out of it, this would be a different ball game for me, and I would be much more um, uh, in a position, I think, to support it. So. Just for the record, the menthol is the sort of the deal breaker. All right, thank you. Um, yeah, that 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 that's kind of the perception that many people have about the the bill. Um, I do want to uh, point out uh, before I, I say anything uh, further on the bill itself, there is a, a letter that we have received from. Uh, members of the BIPOC Health Justice Committee in Wind Wyndham County that is on our webpage. And I think it would be helpful to look at that because it does identify the relationship between the use of menthol um, and flavors and our uh, BIPOC community. And in fact, uh, one of the data pieces that's in there, it has a lot of the data pieces regarding uh, percentages of smokers uh, as a result of uh, what we can only assume to be um, targeted marketing. But the, the letter also uh, has a, the last sentence of the second, second paragraph, which I think is very compelling, that in response to the data that is in the letter, uh, at the 2016 National Convention, the NAACP supported a resolution to restrict menthol sales. Well, that, that to me is very telling about the relationship between our BIPOC community and the use of um, menthol. Uh, for me, it's, uh, I think, it, of course, it's a significant public health issue. It results in some terrible health outcomes for folks who use these products. And, the, and in particular, the use of menthol in masking the toxic um, and, and painful effects uh, when tobacco smoke goes down through the um, airway. And then finally, the, the cost, we talk about the cost of not having menthol to smoke. And people who can also, uh, and they, the, the comment that I've heard is that Menthol is used to quit, but there's no data to indicate that. It just simply makes it feel better to, to keep smoking. Um, that's what we've heard from our national experts on this. We also know that the cost of 
flavors and tobacco in our healthcare environment is $348 million annually. That's a lot of money in Medicaid dollars. So, um, I mean, all, all to me, and I understand how difficult this is. I, I completely respect everyone's ability to think for themselves on this. We understand that the marijuana bill that was passed last year um, bans flavors for within uh, marijuana that's sold through the regulated system. And there's a reason for that. So uh, we don't want to lead people into addiction. And we would like to end the addiction that, that's there. So I, I'm obviously supporting the bill. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I do think if we can, if we could take a vote on the bill, if there would be a motion to take a vote on the bill. And, um, and then, as I said before, I, I, uh, Senator Hardy is, you're the reporter, is that right? If we do vote on it. I sure, don't know. yes. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so um, let's, uh, is, there, is there a motion? I move to, um... Are you ready, clerk? I shouldn't have, I should have, I'm sorry. I forgot our clerk. Sorry, Senator Hardy. Uh, yes, Senator Lyons, I'm, I'm ready at All this right. time. Okay, good. Do so, you actually have a piece of paper, Josh, or are you, is it an electro, uh, you do, okay. <laughs> it says, <laughs> I love it. It says S24. That is so official, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, um, I move that we uh, vote to, um, pass s24 um is that the is that the motion i'm supposed to make jen <laughs> jen or what's the what, what is the draft number we should be I, using on this? i think it's just the bill as introduced you didn't as, make any changes to it right. yeah as introduced does that make it 1.1 1 .1, jen nope just makes it s24 just makes it s24 okay yeah if you need to put a version or something i would put as introduced okay we need a second, Jen. I don't think no. there's a second required. No, by but people we're, often we're do them, right? No. Okay, uh, Senator Lyons, would you like me to proceed? Any discussion? Uh, we've had discussion, but if anyone has a last, okay, Senator uh, Terrence. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I'll call the roll for S twenty four as introduced. Um, Myself, uh, no. Uh, Senator um, Cummings? No. Senator Hardy? Yes. Senator Hooker? Yes. And Senator Lyons? Yes. All right. I have a vote of a three to two uh, to advance S24 as introduced. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Josh. And then. Uh, Senator Hardy. So Senator Hardy, uh, and and Jen, this is uh, for the vote for both of you. So if you can get the bill with the vote and the reporter, this would be for for Ruth, uh, for Senator Hardy. If you can get the bill up to um, up, I think I'm still. I know. <laughs> get it up to the secretary's office before we're on the floor, then. I will be able to ask to have it transferred to economic development today. Okay, so, I'll I'll email the secretary right now. And with you have to send them the the bill. Do okay. I can just link to comes. the original bill, right, Jen? Is that fine? Okay, thanks. I think that's fine. Perfect. That's good. And then you don't have to run out the door and up the stairs while we're still in committee. <laughs> There's some efficiency to zooming. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you, committee. I know this is difficult and I appreciate the difficulty and but I um, I value your honesty. So thank you.